what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have some small tidbit updates regarding the chucky tv series and how many potential episodes as you've seen the thumbnail that our characters kyle and andy will be appearing in for this first upcoming season just to jump on right into things i'll leave a link to this in the description to the imdb page so you guys can see it for yourself but there are two new actors listed on this page who may be potentially appearing in this show because again the IMDb, the IMDb website can be updated at any point in time by anyone, but two actors who weren't there previously, one of them being Antonio Pastor, or Pastor, and then the other one being Samantha Brown. Now, Samantha Brown is listed here to play a character named Delilah, who I'm going to assume will be a schoolgirl that goes to character, that goes to school rather, with Jake and the other characters involved with this TV series, and then antonio pastor his character name is just dancer he's only going to appear in two episodes potentially according to what's listed here on this imdb page so i'm going to assume that maybe perhaps there's going to be a talent show of sorts in the first episode and that's why this person is listed here as a dancer but they're appearing in two episodes and maybe there's a talent show at some point in this first season and that's who antonio is going to be playing the characters don't seem that significant i just want to point that out that there's two new cast members that could potentially be showing up in this show but to jump on right into the meat and potatoes of this video we know that kyle and andy Christina Lee and Alex Vincent will be reprising their roles in this TV series. We know that the last time we saw these characters, they were in Cult of Chucky. Andy was trapped in the asylum. I know we all have, those of us who are fans of this franchise and people who are just big fans of Child's Play 2, we love the relationship between Kyle and her step or her foster sibling, Andy, and vice versa. Andy and the relationship he has with Kyle and I know many of us clamored for Kyle to come back to the series after many years for her to just appear in another film and then she ended up appearing at the very end of Cults of Chucky which was a nice thing to see her back and they're going to be back in this TV series so on the IMDB page it says that Kyle will be appearing in four episodes while Andy will be appearing in three episodes. Now I'm going to just assume that Andy will most likely not be shown in the asylum at this point. We'll try to just learn through dialogue how he escaped. Maybe Kyle of course would have been the one that got him out. Why Kyle is appearing in more episodes than Andy I do not know. I would hope this isn't potentially meaning that one hopefully not Andy is biting the dust here but it could be something else. Maybe Kyle just comes to town before Andy and she sticks around waiting for Andy to come to town. When do I see these four? Let's say this is true. If Kyle is appearing in four episodes, I would see that being episodes seven, eight, nine, and 10. Same thing for Andy. I would see that being episodes eight, nine, and 10. That doesn't mean that that's what would happen. I just feel like they're going to try to not rely so much on the nostalgia aspect of the former characters coming back. I don't think they're going to do that. They can appear at any point in time they want to in this show. They can appear in the very first episode and maybe we don't see them again until f five or four more episodes down the road so they can fill out the rest of these three episodes that Kyle is supposed to be in. Maybe Andy appears in the first episode and we don't see him anymore until episode nine and ten so he can fill out his supposed three episode appearance. But again, none of this is officially like locked in we don't know how many episodes these people will be in until either one of them comes out and says it or we actually sit down and watch the series ourselves but according to the imdb page kyle will be in four episodes and andy will be in three does that mean that kyle will have a more prominent role in the series compared to andy maybe it could also mean that kyle's role or her usage is just needed firsthand before Andy because while she could appear more she might not have as pivotal of a role Andy could appear in three episodes and leave quite the impact whereas Kyle could appear in four episodes and her reception and her time time spent on screen is pretty much wasted which I don't hope to be the case for either one of these characters I just don't see them being the centerpiece of this tv series the centerpiece of this tv series should be Jake it should be what he's going through what he's going through at home recovering from his mother his mother's demise recovering from what's about what's bound to happen in the initial episode i'm assuming that will lead to him just going through more obstacles over the course of this first season we'll get to learn things about him and get to grow a passion for this character and grow attached to him the same way we did with andy in that original film and now every time i think about this tv series and the fact that it's happening i keep imagining how cool it would have been to maybe have had a tv series like this back when alex alex vincent was still a kid and instead of having 
our new character that we're going to get jake we have a tv series about young andy still and when he was a kid but that could always still happen i just don't want to see anyone else portray andy barkley i'm also not interested in seeing any more prequel things or anything that's necessarily retconning the franchise i just keep thinking how cool it would have been to have a series like this back in the day when alex vincent was still a child maybe after child's play 2 and we got something else that was in the tv series form where we got to spend more time with andy get to see his development over time as a character and see chucky as a character grow over time in the tv series as well because i really think this tv series is going to be beneficial to the growth of a lot of characters that we don't get to spend that much time with due to the short runtime that you have with movies andy is for, for the most part he's a well-established character in this universe he's very much already developed we know that he was one of chucky's very first victims in terms of this film franchise anyway chucky's victims go beyond just being in a doll so i'm really looking forward to seeing what happens i think alex vincent will have an important role in the show when he shows up as andy barkley i'm expecting him to appear honestly in the last three episodes episodes eight nine and ten we may get some mentions of him throughout the series but he won't like i feel like that's better i think that would be better to just have like mentions of this of this town wherever we go the town that we're in chucky's childhood home hackensack new jersey mentions of andy barkley mentions of this character also kyle and their history with chucky and all the things they've been through catching up with them just by word of mouth and learning watching these new characters that we're with learn about them because we already know everything we need to know about these characters kind of like just building them up and setting the stage for their inevitable appearance on screen and then when it finally happens it's like a big payoff to all the talk that we've been hearing about throughout the first nine or eight six episodes those are my thoughts on that and how i think this should be handled again not official kyle could appear in many episodes besides four and he could appear in many episodes besides besides just three or they could appear in very less episodes compared to four or three but i really can't wait to see what happens with this tv series i know it's again supposed to come out sometime in the fall i of course would be hoping to see it a bit early so i can share my thoughts on it whenever i am able to with you guys before it's released but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and then miss the video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can go ahead and message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video